it's Saturday morning. What are we doing? We'll go to the sailboat again. So here's what we've been working on the past week. Our sailboat has a retractable center board. It's used to help you point more upwind. It pivots from a pin inside the boat. And there's a cable that can pull the center board up into the boat so you can get into shallow water. But our center board hasn't been used for many years and was stuck up inside the boat with barnacles and oysters. I spent several hours with a screwdriver knocking the barnacles and oysters loose. Then I remove the four bolts from the pin's hinges. There's the centerboard drop down. You can see all the layers of paint and the oyster shells. I sanded all the old layers of paint off the center board. Apparently the center board has a lead core with fiberglass surrounding it. And in a few places, the fiberglass needs some patchwork. That broken piece is where the cable hooks to the center board to retract it. We'll need to repair it. To make the repairs, we used West System Epoxy Resin with some fiberglass filler. Jimmy got his first lesson about fiberglassing. Jimmy also sanded the hinges that keeps the pin in place. I don't know if this is brass or bronze. We also cleaned up the propeller. We ran a lot of errands picking up supplies that weekend. The store, what's the name of the store? Do you remember? Um, uh, Boy and Casey. We found a lot of old fiberglass repairs that needed to be cleaned out in the boat. That looks like an impact from a dock that was poorly repaired with deck filler. Even the rudder needed some fiberglass work. What we got in the back of the truck? Stuff we took off a long time ago. But we've been so tired working on this boat. We don't have any time to take it out. All kinds of the toilet back there, yeah. the broom, some old rope. I'm just sitting here because all that hog stuff. Yeah. We have that boat, the one behind it. Okay. The black dog. We also changed the oil in the diesel motor. Sadly, the next few days were rained out. While doing some sanding, we found a small blister below the engine in the rear part of the keel. Once we dug out the blister, we found to find a large chunk of grease. There's the blister after we opened it up. We washed out the keel from the inside using a pressure washer. This part of the bilge is impossible to access from, from the deck. So we found lots of dropped tools, hose clamps, screws, and other things deep in the bilge and in the grease. We even found a full-size pipe wrench in the greasy bilge.
thankfully my family owns car washes, so I ran over and got five gallons of degreaser. And I scrubbed out all the oil in the bilge. And now you see how clean it is. The boatyard also pulled the mast this week. This is a keel step mast, which means the mast goes through the top deck, through the inside of the cabin, and is bolted to the keel. The mast step was corroded to the mast, but can be repaired. Next week is more fiberglass repairs, sanding the inside, and we're going to patch up that big hole. Until next time. Please click the thumbs up button.